it's time to talk about the compounds we love to hate. This is the Mycotoxin Minute. Our labs devote a lot of time and energy to analyzing samples for total aflatoxins. But why do we talk about total aflatoxins? As you can guess, that's because aspergillus molds are capable of producing several different kinds of aflatoxin. Afla B1 and B2 can be produced by both Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. Afla G1 and G2 are produced exclusively by Aspergillus parasiticus. Afla M1 and M2 are metabolic byproducts that make their way into milk. You can go back and check out episode 87 for more about that. But today, we're focusing on the worst of all of them, aflatoxin B1. Since it is one of the most researched mycotoxins out there, there is a lot of consensus about its toxicity. Medical doctors and toxicologists consider it the most potent naturally occurring carcinogen. It is especially dangerous to the liver. But what is it about aflatoxin B1 that makes it so dangerous? The answer, as it turns out, lies not so much in the mycotoxin as in ourselves. Aflatoxin B1 is actually biologically inactive. It becomes dangerous when enzymes convert it to a compound known as aflatoxin B1 8 9 exo epoxide. Now, aflatoxin B1 8 9 exo epoxide is as nasty as its name is long. Here's why. This compound reacts with the guanine, one of the four main nucleobases that make up RNA and DNA. The resulting damage to DNA can lead to the development of malignant tumors in the liver. There are other symptoms of acute poisoning by aflatoxin B1 necrosis of the liver, damage to the bile duct and digestive tract, and hemorrhaging of the kidneys. The aspergillus molds that produce Afla B1 look for humid or wet storage conditions and find foods with a high fat content particularly enticing. This is why we have to test for commodities other than grains for aflatoxins. Aspergillus likes to make his home in peanuts, almonds, pistachios, figs, and other fruits and nuts. But don't let this make you paranoid. Finding aflatoxins in all kinds of matrices is what we do. Want to join us in the hunt? Visit us at rummerlabs.com to find out how. We'll see you soon.